Anishinaabe author and journalist Wabgishik Rice has just released his hotly anticipated new novel. Moon of the Turning Leaves is a sequel to the national bestseller Moon of the Crusted Snow. Rice is currently on a book tour and we spoke to him earlier today. Wabgishik Rice, thanks so much for being here with us and wearing your Leafs uh, sweater there. Um, Moon of the Crusted Snow came out in 2018, but it really took off during the pandemic given its post-apocalyptic storyline. But for those who aren't familiar with the world you created, uh, can you give us a, a bit of a synopsis? Yeah, well, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Uh, Moon of the Crested Snow is about a uh, Northern Ontario Anishinaabe community that endures a world-ending blackout. Uh, but because the community is uh, full of resourceful people that can hunt and live off the land, it's not an immediate crisis for them. Uh, but as the days turn into weeks, things slowly unravel, and then an unexpected visitor comes up from one of the cities to the south, and uh, they have to make some tough choices about their future. So Moon of the Turning Leaves takes place about uh, 10 years after the events of Moon of the Crested Snow, and we find the same community uh, faced with another tough decision. You know, the resources around them are starting to dwindle, and they realize that uh, traditionally as Nishnabek, they would have been migratory, moving from place to place, and it's time for them to allow the land to replenish. But also, they haven't seen what's happened in the world to the south, so they decide to go on this quest to see if, in fact, the world has ended. But also to hopefully reconnect with their original homeland on the north shore of Lake Huron, because it's described in the first book that uh, they were originally displaced from there to far northern Ontario. So they're seeking out a homecoming of sorts. Uh, it was so good, the book, and I know I've been waiting for years for the follow-up, and here it is. Uh, look at it now, Moon of the Turning Leaves. Was it just a natural that you were going to be returning to this world? Oh, well, thanks for enjoying the first one. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you really appreciated it. Uh, no, I never planned on looking into a sequel. Uh, to me, at the end of the first book, I felt like the characters were kind of riding off into the sunset, you know? And uh, I was fine just leaving it at that. Uh, but there was a pretty positive response to the story uh, right after it came out, and people would start to ask me if I was going to write a sequel. And at first I said no, because I was just being honest. And they would be disappointed, so I started saying, okay, you know, maybe I'm thinking about it, but hadn't really given too, too much thought to it. But as the months went on, you know, I planted the idea in the back of my head and I just allowed it to, you know, gestate a bit. And uh, yeah, the, the path forward for the next story slowly emerged and I got really excited about taking a look at these characters again, you know, uh, re-exploring the world that they live in and really like reviving the spirit of the Nishnabek that really helped guide them through the crisis in the first book. And it's what carries them through the second one as well. Uh, well, we were lucky to have you on Face to Face a few years back, and there was some talk then uh, about uh, a screen adaptation. Is that something that might be still in the works? Well, I think uh, that world moves very slowly, uh, and I don't have much to report all these years later, unfortunately. Uh, but that's my dream. It would be great to see that happen. You know, I didn't write these books to have them as movies or TV series, but I think having them adapted in that way would be a great honor, and I'd just be really excited to see how that would happen, you know, considering the really powerful success of some recent series like The Last of Us and uh, Station Eleven. Absolutely. Love both of those. Uh, Wab, uh, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, good luck on the book tour and with the book. Miigwech. Thanks a lot, Dennis. Great to be here again.